So I assume you've been seeing the Erica Slaughter crossover variants. I think they're just so much fun. If you don't know, Erica Slaughter is the main character of the Boom Studios series called Something is Killing the Children. And she's been featured on the covers of other comic book series from Boom Studios. I recently just picked up Red Before Black with her on the cover. Really cool series, by the way. But R.L. Stein, like as in the author of Goosebumps, just dropped this series this week. And there's also a crossover variant for it. And I think this actually might be one of my favorite crossover variants that they've put out so far with Erica Slaughter. So this is R.L. Stein's new series. This is the Graveyard Club and the first issue just dropped this week. It's an oversized first issue, so it has a spine on it. So not only can you put this on your bookshelf, but usually when a comic book has a spine, you can also find them at regular bookstores. This is illustrated by Carola Borelli, and this is colored by Francesco Sagala. Safe to say this has some Buffy vibes as well as actually some Breakfast Club vibes. This takes place in a creepy kind of sleepy, hollow-esque town called Graves End. It's surrounded by graveyards, so already, you know, that's pretty creepy. And this follows a group of teenage out Cast who hang out together and they like to hang out in graveyards and they call themselves the Graveyard Club. In addition to the name similarity, I do think this has aspects in common with The Breakfast Club because it is about a group of teenage outcasts. And this group of friends, they are dealing with a lot. They're going up against a town bully. They're dealing with his dad, who's a cop and who abuses his power, as well as they're like uncovering a supernatural mystery. One of the main characters, Parker, his dad has been missing for over five years and he disappeared under mysterious circumstances and he's not the only one. So yeah, this is the Graveyard Club issue one just dropped this week. It's an oversized first issue. Let me know what you think. I would really love to hear your opinion on this. And uh, yeah, find a local comic book shop near you and you can also find comic books online if you don't have one near you. Anyway, happy reading, happy collecting. I'll see you later.